Hamburg. Yeah, we finally made it. Um, unfortunately, yesterday we couldn't show you anything from Gothenburg. As I told you before, the plan was to actually go to this nice burger restaurant that we discovered last year when we were shooting here with Nilam. That didn't work out because we had to find our way into the hotel, which was already closed. We couldn't start the edit yesterday, which is why we are also running late today trying to edit the video that is go that is going online that went online yesterday because you're seeing this one day later it's really really hard to do a daily vlog um, and we have a lot to learn and really find our way because it's 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 completely different to what we we have done before and also we are on the road so we don't have electricity um, all the time yeah we are struggling a little bit at the moment but we are, we are not giving up, we are really, really confident that for the rest of this, of this whole trip and we are only at day 4 um, and there is like 30, 31 more days to go we are really confident that we are going to pick up on the pace and on the workflows and yeah, really become more and more professional as, as we do this and the plan for today is basically leave Gothenburg um, now um, in order to to maintain our schedule because we have to go to Denmark. Uh, we have to be in Copenhagen by tonight. This is my little home office. This is where I upload the videos. I feel a little sick because this guy does not know how to drive. It's horrible. Yeah, so I'm uploading the video now. It's gonna be online in five minutes. And then we have to charge the car. We're now on our way to Malmö, downtown Malmö, because we have 100 kilometers left to get to Copenhagen. And we just want to recharge a little bit. Okay, this is interesting. We have to charge the car, but in front of the charging station is another car blocking. And it's not even a, an electric car, is it? No, no it's a combustion no, no, engine. It's a com TDI is a so, we have to find the guy who's, who's the owner. So, whoever knows this guy, tell him he's an asshole. So this is what you do when another car blocks your charging station. You simply drive around it and hope that the cable is long enough. So this is the first time in the last four days that we had problems finding the charging station with the apps and um, not being able to drive the car immediately to the station. So let me use the time and the opportunity to talk to you about yesterday's interview with the guys from a Startup Lab. Because what happened yesterday is we kind of got carried away with the drone and the customs and weren't able to talk to you about um, what we found out with Startup Lab. So what I found most intriguing about, about Norway was that Norway is super, super advanced when it comes to electromobility. And that the reason for this is a government that is subsidizing a purchase of, of electric cars and everything that, that is around electric mobility. So when you have an electric car, you can go on bus lanes, your parking is for free, um, you most of the time get the energy for free, the, the power. Um, us, for example, we don't have to pay for the energy here in, in, in Norway. Well, now we're in Sweden, but in Norway we didn't have to. And the, the whole network of charging stations in Norway is so dense that you have no problem getting from A to B. Um, on our way now from Gothenburg to, to Copenhagen, we experienced for the first time that we need to kind of manage 
how we drive and how we use the battery and how fast we go. Because of course, as f the faster you go, the more energy you use and the more inefficient the car becomes. So the best energy uh, or the best speed is between 90 and 110 kilometers an hour. Because here in Sweden, the, the network of charging stations is not as dense as it was in, in Norway. And therefore, um, we had to carefully plan and drive to get to the next fast uh, charging station, which is, which is here.